look around you and see God in everything. His name of love is written on every tiny raindrop. His name of wonder crowns the mountain peak, swirls across the seas. But who else but God? I am that I am. My name is Ansel Saunders, born in Bimini, 1932. I'm a carpenter, boat builder, but also I, I made most of my life living out of uh, bone fishing. My family was boat builders. So I got into boat building very early. I built my first boat at uh, 16 years old. My dad was a terrific boat builder and a house builder. So I had it on both sides. My uncle, I came up in the work yard where my uncle owned a work yard that built boats. And I was a good guy that came up from Bonefish Farm. But I was always twice in the bone fishing because it's the skill to bone fish, you got to have eyes, you got to see them, see them in time, and then place the baits out there very lightly. Dr. King came at to write the Nobel Prize acceptance speech. And when he came here, they wanted someone to take him someplace real quiet where he could think. I have a a statue of Dr. King now to the bones of shoulder. It's called the bones of shoulder up there. The statue wasn't there then. But that's the spot where we used to go. Dr. King and I, so he could reminisce of me. How someplace real quiet. One time he said, there's so much life, there's so much life all around us. How could people see all this life and yet not believe in the existence of God? The answer what you do when you have people in the boat and see all this life and not believe in God. What you say to them? So I said, I wrote a psalm, PSALM, that poses some serious questions. And I leave them to ponder those questions. Say, you'd like to hear it. I said, Dr. King, people want to hear you speak. You know that, you're the spokesman. I'm tired of listening to myself. I want to hear somebody else sometimes. So I did the psalm for him. He said, until you made me feel so close to heaven, I feel as though I could almost reach out and touch the face of God. He sat down and he wrote some more. I met the Queen twice, I met Margaret Thatcher twice, but nobody could have matched up my meeting Dr. King. 